What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. New York Sports Central here. Today we're going to be talking about how Rangers prospect Vitaly Kratsov used his European out clause to opt to play in the KHL for this year as he doesn't want to play in Hartford and run the plan and get healthy scratched and learn the North American game. So getting into it, Vitaly signed um, a three-year entry-level deal in this offseason that allowed him a European out clause in the first year of that contract, which he took. Um, coming into it, Kratzov was a highly skilled player that was sought to have a chance t to make the lineup, but he didn't, and he got sent down to Hartford to get more seasoning and conditioning to learn the North American ice, because if you don't know already, in the KHL, they play on the international ice surface where there's, there's a lot more more space out there. It's probably a different game. He has less time in his offensive zone or defensive zone to do things. So he has to make quick plays. And plus, he just looked kind of slow. He had the offensive skill. He just didn't have the 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 uh, speed to just get out there and go and do it. Um, he he only played five games with it with the AHL Hartford Wolfpack, where he got one assist, but he was bench and healthy scratch and he didn't play a lot so it kind of makes sense to where to why he was he thought to go play in the cage or and play a full year and get another year of professional hockey under his belt but there's no reason to panic here because Krasov is only 19 and they can go over this year and play because odds are he wasn't going to be called up anyway this year so that's really okay in my mind um he came over, he looked okay in the preseason, he had an outside chance to make the team, but he's going back to his old KHL team, Chakor Chelebinsk, he's signing there, but, uh, but, but the Rangers want to keep him happy, so they were able to work with him to go to the KHL. He can be recalled by the Rangers at any point, but that means he has to play in the NHL, not the AHL being called up. So he can come back if he would like, if he goes, if he plays in the NHL. So maybe at the trade deadline, if the Rangers send off some players, he can be called up and play in the NHL. That's something to look forward to, perhaps. But if Philip Beal should be called up for us, he's dominating in NHL Hartford. It's also been rumors that Traktor or Traktor, however you want to pronounce it, is a Russian team in the KHL will trade Kratsov once they sign him to a really good KHL team that has a chance to win because Traktor is not a good team and Kratsov is the only really good player on that team last year. So odds are he may get traded to S um, CSKA Moscow or the Dynamo team or the SKA team, like one of the top teams in the KHL, one of the teams that... Kovalchuk and Panarin played for and they were over in, in, in the KHL. So that's something to look forward to. Another year of development for Ranger prospect Vitaly Kratsov over in the AHL. We can, um, KHL, sorry. He can be called up at any point. Looking forward to how he plays in the KHL. Maybe he can play for a better team and get more of ice time and get more of a dominating presence and a role playing with NHL caliber players in the KHL at a better, on a better team there. So that, that may be good for his overall development, but he may get called up at the deadline if the Rangers don't play well, and he can come back and play for them come after the, the, the trade deadline. So i um, looking forward to more news coming out about Kravtsov or update about his time in, in the KHL throughout the year and see how he's doing. So I'm looking forward to that. Like, comment, and subscribe, and see you later. Thanks for watching.